Henry's the true savior. He's the hero. He's the star of the show. You know it. I know it. That's how it's always been. It always comes down to Harry. I mean, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Robert Carlyle, I'm just gonna put it out there, is probably the best actor ever. On the show. Yeah, on the show. Don't get me wrong, um, I, I'm constantly praising Regina and Emma and Hook. Etc. <laughs> Etc. Et but it's like, I feel like Rumpel and Robert Carlyle are completely overlooked. He's like a top tier actor, right? Yeah, and he's just so good because he can really make, he can really convince us that, you know, he's Like when he's Rumpel, Rumpel you're just like, okay, he's just over top Rumpel. But then when he's like vulnerable, yeah. Mr. Gold, you're like, shit, man. And I don't then, know about like you guys, but like, I feel really bad for him. It's, poor man can't even walk and he's a senior citizen. He always has like those eyebrows where he's like, He's, he's like I, talking to I Emma. Can't, like, I, I can't, I can't. Like, and she, and, and then poor like Merida stuck in a little area of Merida, I just beating the shit out of her. <laughs> She's like, like literally like, be brave. And the next episode, she turns into a big old bear and like mm. attacks him. When Regina and Emma were saying that they needed a tear for the loss of the loved one, uh, we watched with my sister, and she's like, she's like, ah, uh, duh, Lancelot, and we were like, oh right. Which makes so much sense because of Guinevere and all that jazz. Because of Guinevere. But I'm getting a tear from Lancelot and he's in jail or is like making fun of him. I know because, well because we were, because like my sister was like, yeah, like Lancelot will work. How is he, how, is, how are they going to get a tear from Lancelot? And she's like, oh, like, but he's behind bars. I'm like, oh, you miss Guinevere, don't you, don't you? I felt really bad for Regina having to watch Daniel die all over again. Did Emma do that to kind of cover herself up? Or like if she knew originally that she was going to get... Henry's tear. Why would she make Regina watch that? For me, I feel like it, I wouldn't say it was justified, but the fact that like Emma went through all that work to like get a tear from Henry, I was like, okay, that's one thing. I get it. Like you're trying to get Merlin free so you can get the darkness out of you, which still like it's your son and you're breaking his heart, but whatever. But then to go through all that work and make Regina go through that like shitty memory for no reason, like that is like she obviously knew ahead of time that she was going to use Henry. Well, well, this is the thing, like, did she know how to time, or did she see Regina's reaction and she was like... I think right after Regina's reaction, they got the tear and went straight out to the tree. I don't think there was any time in between. Why would she do that to Regina? I don't understand. Is that just because she's an asshole now? I think it was just to, like, <laughs> yeah, just to, like, cover it up, maybe. Right. Maybe uh, because otherwise she... Otherwise it'd be too convenient. Like, yeah, because, she know because if, em, if Emma were to tell Regina, let's like, let's break Henry's heart, she knows Regina would never go for it. Okay, also, I, I also love like Regina and Emma like fighting. Like not like physically, but like just like when you're arguing, it's like, because Emma thinks she's badass and dark now, but like Regina's like been there, done that. Yeah, but it's like, not even about like, oh, like I'm like badass and like you're not. And it's not even that kind of fight, but when they fight, it's such a emotional, Fight oh yeah, they're like they're, throwing daggers at each other and constantly. And they're so good at it. They're so good at those scenes, and it's like they're not even—they're not even being bullies to one another. They're almost like—they're almost like—and it kind of makes sense too. Like when you have two divorced parents like fighting over the kid, like saying like why they're better than the other, right? Mm -hmm. Like I need to see Henry. Well, you're not seeing Henry because blah 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 blah. Like, I really, really love the dynamic between Emma and Regina. They're so good together and just mm -hmm. even from season one, if you see this, if you watch season one when they're fighting at that exact same position, in, like in front of Regina's house and they're fighting over Henry to literally five seasons later and they're fighting over the exact same thing, just their character development is incredible. One of the best parts was finding out that Emma took that girl's heart. Yeah, I was that like, was, <gasps> yeah, that was a bit of a twist. Yeah, what's expecting that? But I, I loved the scene where they were fighting. Um, Which means that she would have totally went out with Henry the first time. Yeah, Emma's like, just don't worry. I'm just gonna do this for one second. Grabs her heart, holds it in front of her. <laughs> Poor girl's like. Freaking like what the hell's going on? I love that scene, that date scene, the Pepsi and all that stuff. Got warming up lasagna. It's like a commercial for Pepsi, what? but well, barely. <laughs> it's a carnival in a can. Hello, Henry. Sup? Smiley face, smiley face. Yeah, smiley face. I don't know if you guys caught that, but like just when uh, is David? Yeah, David was like yeah. looking over his shoulder. He's like, hello, Henry. Sup? Smiley face. Times <laughs> a million. That was like the funniest smiley like, conversation. Smiley face. Smiley face like. And just okay. like when like they were all in the room talking about Henry and his girlfriend, He's poor guys, like, probably like so embarrassed. Cute outlaw queen moment. It was a 
not the not the one where they were looking at the dream catcher and holding hands because that was cute too but when the thing the the, the door. doorknob it like <laughs> had magic on it nowhere, it's like, and he's like holding her he's like don't worry i got you they're cute back to the heartbreak scene but when they were trying to put the tears in and emma's like it, it's like your heartbreak's not strong enough regina's like what? Yeah, it's like, wow, weird. A heartbreak's not strong enough. She's like, no, trust me. I'm pretty heartbroken here. Some fan should, like, grab that scene and just replace, like, the video in a Dreamcatcher thing with, like, some emotional, like, once upon a time moment. Oh, yeah! And then, like, it just shows Regina crying. Yeah. That's funny. The Dreamcatcher, for everyone's memory, that's why she has a million Dreamcatchers in that shed. That's yeah. kind of creepy. Yeah, I, I thought that got that vibe too, very much like obsessive compulsive kind of thing. What if one of them breaks or one of them disappears? Just do that you, person's never gonna get their memory back? think sometimes she goes in that shed and just like gets a chair and just sits back and like watches everyone's memories? I would totally do that. That'd be a cool, cool I would scene. like, I would like sit and like be like turn on Hook's memories and just like look at his whole life. Merlin, let's talk about Merlin. I like him. I, I like, I like Merlin as well. I and think he seems like a cool guy. When David's like, can you get the light, or when Hook was like, can you get the dark magic out of her? He was like, Sure. He has like a cool vibe about him. Like, I don't know if I who I like more as a character so far, him or the our author of last season. Remember, like uh, before Henry. Definitely Merlin. The author was annoying. I thought the author was cool though, because he had like a very creepy vibe. But Merlin's like very like cool. He just seems like badass. I think we can all agree that Emma decided to not take the darkness out of her. We well, don't know, but I assume. Considering that Merlin was free and she's still the dark one. It's either that or like something came up and that stopped that from happening. I'm very excited to see what happened in Camelot. Covered everything. Jake was very happy it was a Henry episode. Yeah, it was a Henry and Rumpel episode for the most part. Mm hmm. And I Sprinkled just... in some like Outlaw Queen, Swan Queen. Swan Queen? Stop saying Swan Queen. There was queen. a Swan Queen moment, believe it or not, when Henry was like, hey moms, I'm sure Swan Queen fans oh, yeah, lost yeah, their yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not how it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just super excited about Rumple, because mm. yeah, I love Rumple. Mm. Mm -hmm. We should watch some more Robert Carlo movies. Should. All right. See you next week. It was a short and sweet one.